Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here and Mega Sceptile is being tested into RU. It's not being suspect tested per se, but it's being allowed in the tier for a week. Um, and then the council will determine its fate. But I'm gonna be real. I uh I don't think it's gonna be banned from the RU tier. Now let's actually think about RU, you know, as a whole, right? At least what's really good right now. Now I don't know how the the, the viability rankings go, but I know based on my experience. Some Pokemon that are super good are Golisabod for sure, um, Dawnfin as well. Now those are two that come to mind because one of them stops uh, Sceptile with a first impression. And I honestly think that I'm going to be testing out Protect on Sceptile too. Uh, just because I feel like it's not going to do anything if I don't run Protect. Um, and secondly, uh, like it doesn't really break through the Steel types it wants to. so. Uh, in terms of it, how it's going to be in the tier, I don't think it's going to be that good. And I honestly think it might actually be allowed in the tier. Uh, so that'd be pretty cool for Sceptile. Now, Captain Universe uh, passing this team. Of course, like as a whole, I don't know how it'll affect the entire tier. But I just know that like, like, I have this Dawn fan that just bops it with Ice Shard. So we'll see how this ends up going. Let me know your thoughts on Sceptile. I do kind of like what the RU Council is doing, though. Uh, I think it shakes up the meta uh, just a bit. And uh, it makes it very fun in a sense. Now, I also think that I kind of just lose to a few of these Pokemon, especially that dual screams. Um, I think I lose very badly, in fact, if it is dual screams. Hmm. I, I also hate Bronzong so much, but uh, he passed me his team. It's not like I'm going to be pursued in tournament play, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's okay. I just, I just want to play with Mega Sceptile because I know a lot of people are also saying it's very underwhelming in the tier, and uh, that's interesting to me. Um, because obviously as a Mega who... Okay, no, that, no, 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 I handled it in the last time I recorded it. No, you're not doing that to me. Like, just seeing as, you know, it's a Mega, you would think it'd be all-powerful and whatnot, but... Huh. <laughs> if Leaf Storm knocks out Nidoqueen, then that's my lead. And it does not, so I know that's not my lead. Uh, okay, so I wanted something that let off uh, that beat Espeon, but also beat Nidoqueen because I think that objectively like Nidoqueen is just Nidoqueen is amazing versus me. Luckily in this game, Gardevoir is really good, uh, which is Psy Shock spam, and I'm actually gonna lead off with it. Um, yeah, because Nidoqueen makes a lot of sense versus me. And I do trace that sheer force. It's not gonna matter in terms of actually helping this KO, uh, but I do want to say that I could just click Moonblast now because it is sheer force boosted and probably just start picking up some KOs because Espeon seems to be my opponent's main switch. I'm actually going to do it. But at the same time, the Gardevoir calc is not at all in my favor. However, Moonblast uh, with Tracing, that's not sheer force. Well, uh, still does enough for Sceptile. But I'm going to Moonblast here. I'm going to be a little bit aggressive and predict the Espeon to want to come out. Uh, because if I get rid of Espeon, that means I get a Brox. So... That's just like a, that makes a huge difference for me. And if they go back out on Nidoqueen, then I, or they even go like Serena if it's AV, um, that's going to open up that door for Bronzong a little bit. Um, they do go back out on Nidoqueen, which is completely fine. I get the damage I wanted off on it. You're really good in this game. And Bronzong is such an easy switch. And I'm going to I'm gonna play aggressive. I, you either do not get rocks versus me. Exactly. And I might just sweep my opponent with the sheer force Moonblast. I'll be real. So I'm glad I played a little bit aggressive uh, right there at least. If they go Serena, I'm gonna get a little bit of damage off of them too. Is that even the correct play? Yeah, why not? Get some chip. Oh, that wasn't even chip, man. Oh, man. Oh, man, no. My opponent is losing. Hey, I mean, I pulled the trigger and that's what I ended up doing. So, uh, Machamp probably gonna come out and click Bullet Punch, which I think is completely fair. Um, in terms of these coming out now, I do think that Dawn Fan is a fine play because I can Rapid Spin. Well, depending if they're Flame Orb, if they're Flame Orb, then I'm gonna click Earthquake, but it looks like they're Assault Vest, so I'm gonna go for Rapid Spin now as they end up bringing out the Yam Mega. Now, I don't know what type of Yam Mega this is, um, but if that's AV Machamp, it's gonna be a problem to deal with. I'll knock, and this looks to be Specs. Okay, great. So, uh, good because it means I can bring out my Salazzle and just click Fire Blast as they sack Espeon and then bring out Barbarical. 
And obviously, HP ground the barbarical. I mean, HP grass the barbarical. And I'm assuming because it is four times effective and coming off a 319 special attack, it's going to be able to knock out the barb. But, like, as far as Septile goes in this game, it's not going to do crap. So, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't have made this play if I didn't have a way of dealing with barb. And I also think that bar uh yeah, okay, so Romero goes gone. I don't think there's any chance of me losing this, but I, I am going to make it come down to Sceptile, at least in the end. I'll uh, we'll just go for the Acid Downpour, get off as much damage on this um, on this Machamp as possible. And that did a lot. Hold up. That's a lot more than what I liked. Hey, man. You can knock me out. I want to go Sceptile and get some KOs. Nice. So we're barely stepped out. We just dragon pulse twice, um, and that's that's the game basically. I shouldn't be able to lose to my champ because I have priority. I have a Salazzo, which lists bullet punch as well, and uh, that acid downpour did a lot. Were you not assault vest? Uh, them going Yen Mega. I guess they had to hope I choked. I suppose. Or maybe they were banded, Machamp, but I just clicked Dragon Pulse, Dragon Pulse, and Mega Sceptile comes in at the end and just picks up some KOs. But yeah, I can't lose to, like, a, I don't know what type of Machamp it is, but I can't lose to it. Like, no matter what it is. It, it needs, I need to physically fall over. That sucks that I can't look for another battle when I clearly have won this game again. Come on. It's being tested for a week in our I know what team I'm making next. <laughs> I like this guy. Alright, that's really cool. Uh, we don't have that many points, but yeah, okay, so like in that game, I just played really aggressive with my, um, my mod and it did some work. Uh, in this one, don't know how much stuff I was going to do. Like, Lee Storm is really nice in this game, I'll be real. Uh, and wow. Yo, you do not like Don fan, like period. <laughs> period. He does not like Don fan. Um, also, not a huge fan of my Salazzle either. I'm assuming that's Scarf, uh, Gardevoir. Uh, I don't see a reason to not lead off an offensive Don fan. It is a, a beast versus my opponent. I get off a knockoff. I can get up rocks early. If he leads off with Steelix, I'm going to click knockoff. Uh, if he gets up rocks, I can rapid spin. And obviously, he his like first priority might just be going hard into Zatu. I don't mind him getting up a reflect either. I don't know if he's gonna roost initially too. Hmm. That's a little bit annoying. I'd be real. Man, I can at least earthquake here on his roost and waste his reflector. He doesn't set up with me on it. He also has dual screens without like any setup at all. Knocking off his light clay was nice. I'm trying to get him in range of my Ice Shard, but that's that's not it, right? I don't think that's in range of Ice Shard. I also don't reveal I have Ice Shard yet, so I'm an Earthquake here. Uh, I'm basically going to waste as many turns as I can, for him at least, because I'm not losing much out of it. You are a problem, though. I'm assuming his last move is just U-Turn, too. Yep, it is. Uh, whatever comes in now doesn't appreciate U-Turn, like, no matter what it is, unless it's a Heferos, but even then, like... Yeah, if he goes Machamp, knockoff is really good. If he's AV or, or Flame Orb, looks like he is AV. Uh, and his game plan is to go for another knockoff versus me. My own AV probably doesn't make much of a difference here either in terms of anything. I think that I don't need it. Whoa. No. No, no, no. Okay, he's speedy too. Well, getting rid of his self is nice because it means Sceptile can come in. I don't even know if that means Sceptile can come in. He's speedy, so he was faster than me. So I'm assuming he's just, let's just assume that he's like nothing, like no, no HP, no nothing. I want to Leaf Storm here so badly. But I also think the Gardevoir play is a lot smarter because he has no Moonblast switchings. Uh, Steelix doesn't really count because I get to Rapid Spin on it. Like very, very easily. So no guard. Uh, we make the Dawn Fan play right back. I'm gonna attempt to rapid spin. He cannot touch Don Fan with his Zatu, so that's really good. I'm gonna knock off immediately too as he goes Machamp. Mm, maybe that wasn't the play. Assuming I made a breakthrough here too, because this is. Oh, that air punch is busted. Hey, hey, now's the chance. 
Thank you. Oof. Got off a little bit of chip on you as well. He's going to be able to get up screens versus me. But I also think you kind of lose to Salazzle. <laughs> and the best case for me is he ideally goes Barbarical after I knock him out here with Fire Blast. Because Fire Blast should be able to knock him out. Um, he goes Barbarical after. And I HP Grass and knock that thing out. Uh, because I think between these, at least between Bronzong and, and Friends, I think I can beat his, I can still beat his team even though I'm down 6-4. Uh, with almost nothing on my opponent's team gone. But yeah, I Fire Blast there. Not knocking him out as... Oh, okay, yeah, I lost, I lost. I lost for sure. I'm not going to Mega because if he is Scarf Gardevoir, I don't think it's in my best interest to Mega. Because um, he can obviously Moonblast me. I can just Leaf Storm in Overgrow range. I'll basically live a Moonblast and Leaf Storm him. So yeah, like I live a, it didn't get overgrown unfortunately, but um, I get a super, super good crit. I get a very good crit there. Now, if I can win this, that'd be great. I don't think, actually I might be an over, uh, what is it, what is overgrow? 30, is it 33? I actually might be an overgrow. Hold up. No, it's not what I want. No. Card of War, are you choice scarf? Leaf Storm at I'm at thirty two percent. Okay, yeah, I was an overgrow. Okay, cool. Um So at the end of the day that came down to that turn. Uh I don't see anything wrong with me clicking Psy Wave here repeatedly. I'm gonna, I don't really care either if I go for Toxic. Like, if my side waves are... He can only U-turn on me, right? He can only U-turn so much. And if he wants to go Steelix, that's fine too. Ends up going Ampharos. Which I managed to connect on. And now I can basically stall it out unless he's Rest Talk. Which I think he might be Agility. That dude, no, that's actually doing nothing. So that's awesome. Uh, Moonblast is still looking good too. Hard Barbarical. I do think I have to go for Toxic here too, because uh, if Psywave doesn't get that same roll, I will lose. And between two Protectors, I think I'll be okay as well. Yeah, I think you liquidate too. Ooh, if I live this, that'd be great. Hmm. Here's a problem. Yo, y'all want to see something? Y'all want to see some next level tech? Peep this. I'm a Mega Evolve and Protect, and that counts as a second Protect. Watch this. What the hell I say? That's actually... Well, he went for a Z move, so it doesn't matter. But... <laughs> and I was also straight up lying to you guys as well. No. That was luck. <laughs> oh. It's being tested. I, I was just lying, but yeah. I, like, I knew my luck would come through there. GG. So, uh, really unfortunate about like Machamp in general being how good Machamp is. Um, I got my sturdy out of it. All right, I already dropped my GG, so let's get out of here. Uh, so, as far as we've been seeing, um, Mega Sceptile has been super, super like it's not. It hasn't been great. Right, I hasn't been doing anything. I hate these types of builds, man. You got like a pursuit haunch girl. My bronze I'm gonna have fun, dude. My bronze I'm gonna die and do nothing. Wow, it's looking really good in this game. Uh Don Fan is probably my best Pokemon uh in this game thus far. Uh, that, like I, I'm not I'm not a fan of this type of build. Never got to play before, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm not a big fan of this kind of build, uh specifically because I feel like it struggles with Pokemon like this. Um I do want to try and knock Registeel if possible, or even uh, the like. Give me fifteen minutes. Yeah, I want to try and knock Registeel because if I limit its recovery, that'd be fantastic. And I don't care if he gets a Stealth Rock or goes for Toxic or whatever he does. Um, that's completely fair. Yo, that took so much damage as well. 
And I still think another another knockoff is fantastic too, because I'm faster. Uh, I'm assuming your assault vest and not Culver. Uh, I think my opponent predicted me to go for rocks, but basically, because Moonblast is so good in this game, because Moonblast is so good in this game, uh, though I am like 100% weak to Honchkrow. Like, I'm very weak to Honchkrow. Like I, like, I think I lose to Honchkrow off the bat. Uh, Dot Fan's gonna be key as well. That being Choice Man is cool too. Uh, getting bronze on, get up rock, start side waving through maybe. That did a lot. Hey. I want, if they go Dawn Fan, I want to toxic them as well. Yeah, I want to be able to toxic them as they go Slow King. I'm okay with taking a Fire Blast. I'm okay with a Future Sight type thing going on too. Um, my Sceptile is not incredible in this. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to lose to Honchkrow. I think I have to also double Toxic because if they get in Honchkrow, I will lose. They know I have uh, Sceptiles to switch into, so I'm, I'm fine with this play. And because I Trace Regenerator, I can actually afford to keep this alive as a sack and get in my Gardevoir here as it goes Registeel. I value burning you, <laughs> like very much. I want to make sure you can't come in later. Yeah, I value that very much. Yeah, we'll sack this now. Because his Moonblast switchings are, are almost non-existent. I mean, much like my fairy type switchings are almost non-existent too. Do I want to make this a Lazo play? Like, I, I don't... Uh, I, this team doesn't have enough... I can't... That's why I, I hate this Pokemon. If this was Metagross, that'd be so cool. Because, like, Meteor Mash, Earthquake, gone. Team, gone. Uh, not not anything gets him. This is my personal thing. I hate Bronzong. Uh, he gets the attack drop too, which sucks. I, I doubt I'm even going to be a... Okay, cool. So at least I got something out of that. Whereas I'm able to get this thing in and now go for uh, a Sludge Wave. Um, I don't want to Fire Blast initially either. Maybe if I can bait... If I can bait the uh, the Dawn Fan in, that'd be really cool. Essentially getting Machamp on uh, Skull Burn, that'd be cool too. Sick. So I can go for Close Combat now and pick up a KO. Because I'm Guts. Uh, so Close Combat will kill something, even if he goes Gramble. But then he's going to be able to go out to the Crow. And I'm probably going to have to outplay the Crow. Oh, it goes Dawn Fan. Hmm. I mean, I need damage on this too if I want to try and win with Salazzle, so I'll take it. Yeah, especially if I want to try and win with Salazzle. Or even my <laughs> Subtile. I'm playing it like I'm not Z, by the way. Which you should know I'm Z. Always trace that regenerator. I wonder if he's going to go Registeel or... Uh, I think he stayed in. Okay, cool. Uh, Nasty Plot is my play because I need to be able to knock out the... I need to be able to knock out the Slow King, so... That's fine because he would have went Sceptile anyway in Dragon Pulse me, but I wanted him. It's okay. I wanted him to lock himself in Dragon Pulse so I can get out Gardevoir. This is still a tough game, right? I should still always lose to Honchko. And it's Scarf Curl too. Okay. So good and bad. Actually, if he goes Sloking, that's fine. Yeah, Gardevoir can still win. Uh, if you go Sloking, that's fair, because I have the poison on it. And I can always double back and go for Dragon Pulse or something. So as long as I have Regenerate, I think I'm good. Uh, I should always be able to live a Leaf Storm from Sceptile 2. It depends on how my opponent's endgame goes right now, too, because... 
If I force them to Mega Evolve with Sceptile, which I do by going out to my own, like I'm thinking like all the scenarios they can win. They should go Slow King. But if I force them, I should be okay. Scarf Hodge Girl. Could be Scarf Sucker Punch as well. Yeah, they go Slow King here. I think I Moonblast again. I could use this same roll. I could use the same roll. Please give me a 29 roll again. Okay, that's that's a smart play too. That's fair as well. Um, because they want to sack Septile so they can get their regenerated back. That's fair. That's super fair. Okay, yeah, I, I also completely forgot that um that's faster than me. So I'm bad for that. <laughs> hey, but that ended up being hey, my saving grace right here, huh? Forgetting that's faster than me. I also could have done that for the other one, but... It's okay. I'm bad. If I'm my opponent, I go back to Honchkrow. And what I'm trying to do is basically get my regenerator to the point where I win the game anyway. So I don't think you should stay in. Because I... I Yes, exactly. So I trace regenerator there, so I go back. I think I'm going to do it again as well. Uh, I want to make sure I'm as healthy as possible so I can beat the Slow King 1v1. As they Ice Beam there. I mean, they should always Ice Beam again. But do I have enough health here to win? Uh, if I if I least on my had it. Wait, I won. Cause of poison, I won. Unless they're Sucker Punch. Nice. No scarf sucker. <laughs> yeah, then he's fine. And there was no throw. If he has Scarf Sucker, then he's good. Yeah, good game. You're fine then. There was nothing like you had a you had a you had a hundred percent win at that point. If you were Scarf Sucker Punch, you had a hundred percent win. There was nothing I could have done. Uh, my only hope was that he was not Scarf Sucker Punch. And then, I guess if I if so if I Leaf Storm killed Slow King, which I. Doubt I'd, maybe Leaf Storm and Overgrow was stronger than. Wow. So Leaf Storm and Overgrow killed, and then he would have to go for Star Sucker Bunch. I'd always Mega Evolve and Protect as well, and then I can use that to win. Hmm. But I don't think that killed uh, Honchkrow. If it did, then I'm, I'm mad I didn't count it. Yeah, I didn't kill Honchkrow. With Rocks, it could have. So. All right, well, I mean, once again, I feel like Mega Subtile is underwhelming uh, in the tier. Also kind of not a fan of the composition of, like, Steel plus Dawn Fan, unless it's like... I understand why we have it, because Ground Immunity, but... Ground Immunities aren't that... I don't know. It's a tough one, too, man. Another Honchkrow, which I think I just... I just lose to Honchkrow. I don't have any outs for it. You're good, but then he has my Lodic too. Like, you have everything I hate to fight. Legitimately, he has everything I hate to fight. Uh, I'm going Dawn Fan because it's the only thing that pressures Flygon, Meta, Registeel, and Honchkrow. But it also loses to Florgus, my Lodic. In fact, my Lodic is really good versus me too. Yeah, it leads off of Registeel. I value Knockoff way too much to let, like, to care about being poisoned here. And again, I. Okay, this is amazing because he's getting rid of one of his like one of his answers to me. Um, let me just earthquake again. I don't care. Oh, it's flame orb. Okay, thank you. Oof, it's what I consider not to be the best set. Uh, but this gives me rocks. Um, they should never be able to bring a registry on me anymore, especially if I do get up rocks. 
And Leafstorm is just so good. I actually have to be right back. I'll pause it. Sorry, I am uh, I am back, but uh, just got interrupted by the door. I'm, I have to just CC. Like, I need them to get the burn on me. But I think I'm gonna make the sub top play here because this is like a turn where you recover. Uh, in any case, it's just Mega Evolve and and Leaf Storm. Uh, with Registeel being that weekend and oh my gosh, yes. <gasps> Woo! Ooh, okay, that was gonna be tough. Uh, but I think they win the game with Hodgecrow. That's at least that's what I'm assuming they assume. So I might have lost anyway. Like I don't even need Septile in this game. It doesn't. It doesn't be. That was the only thing Septile beat. And honestly, I think that was a poor play on my opponent's part because they had uh, potentially Florgus. Uh, they had Metagross as well. So they had outs. Like they 100% had outs. Anyway, we're gonna bring up Bronze on. If they try and wish past their what? You still had, bro, you still had a, you know what my way of beating Honchkrow was landing will o -Wisp and switching to not lose Sucker Punch? Like, I, they still had a legitimate shot of winning that game. Like, there was definitely a legitimate shot of winning that game. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, I do kind of like stepped out a little bit more in this one, because it definitely threatened something like Gudra, which is pretty cool. We're actually gonna lead off with it because it's 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 really good initially. Like it's actually fantastic initially. I'm clicking Leaf Storm. I don't care if you go Gudra, I don't care if you go Fortress. Well, I mean, this is better for me, I guess, in a sense that I'm able to HP fire, but I would have loved to bop your sturdy. Let's see what you're gonna go for. Draco? So I like Gudra as an option because I can Willow Wisp Fortress. Uh, excuse me, Gardevoir is an option because I can Will-O-Wisp here. And it doesn't allow much damage on me. And in fact, Moonblast is... Like, I mean, Gardevoir is incredible in this game and probably should be saved. But I also... First off, that crit is amazing. Uh, secondly, Moonblast switchings are limited. Super limited. In fact, I get to bring out Donphan now and I get to click Earthquake after. And that kind of just picks up a KO. Yep. Yeah. As I figured, he'd go Blastoise immediately on the Rabbit Spin. So I pick up a KO there, which is awesome. Obviously, Dawn Fan is incredible in this game. And uh, Fire Blast makes a lot of sense for my opponent here. I think that Machamp makes the most sense for me. Or Ice Beam, that works too. Whatever's a, a neutral to hit everything. I just got close combat. Uh, no fighting resist at all. Fortress is, again, overwhelmed in this game. Uh, very much so. Oh my gosh, I, I think that's Scarf Gudra, and what I kind of want to do is go like this on the Volt Switch and whatnot, but I'd rather get rid of his Switchins period to me, you know what I mean? So, um, obviously he can bring out Swallow now, but the T-Spike shouldn't matter too much. I have a Bronze Long in the back too. I'm going to click Ice Punch and not care. Going to get in my Dawn Fan. We're going to Rapid Spin away these hazards. Uh, even if he hits me with a Devastating Drake, that's fine. Uh, getting rid of Rocks is more important to me. And I haven't revealed much else oh boy yeah my set out my set is incredible in this i really get some damage off on you too like it's actually incredible in this too it allow i can actually bring it out now and just click protect as you die to bp which is awesome i mean but that a burn uh, as he attempts to go for bp Okay, I get to click Protect again, and you can't even double out to that Pokemon now. So, I like I have so many good turns here. I love it. And look at his Moonblast switchings. I'm assuming it's Z, Dragon and Zygarde. And I'm going to get Rocks up just because, again, Moonblast is going to be my way of sweeping this guy. We're going to Toxic. Looks like he's actually banded. Keeping you alive is worth it. I can always healing wish this mon and, and go out into Gudra, so I love it. And Gudra kills Swallow as well. Oh, he wasn't. Well, don't I still win? Technically. 
I guess unless I, I miss out on a speed tie, I think I still win. Because that's a downpour should do 64%. Oh, no. Nah, I, I probably... I, I think I lost it now. I think it's gone. I think it's gone. Ah, okay. So, yeah, that makes sense. It wasn't banned. It did too little. Huh? <laughs> Get out of here. What are you? I, I might still win, too. Depending. Oh, I might still win for sure now. Yeah, GG. Yeah, that uh, that drop did it. Ah, oh, man, that was a really good devastating Drake play. Um, it didn't KO Bronzong, but it got that, that was a really good play. It didn't KO Bronzong, but it got it in range of of my extreme speed, like towards the end. Uh, I knew Scarf Gardevoir would be good, but man. Was it was it Scarf Gudra? Was that Scarf Gudra? It was, right? Because it did nothing with Ice Beam. I have to run the calcs. I should have been calcing. But hey guys, let me know your thoughts on Mega Sceptile in the RU tier. Honestly, from what I've been seeing, and we're not even fighting like Galisopod super standard stuff. We're just fighting a bunch of what's on the ladder. But um, I think it's very underwhelming. You can let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends. And that's the car.